Hello and welcome to IT Convergence User Productivity Kit tutorial series. This is a short demonstration of how to customize the player interface to fit your corporate look and feel in Oracle UPK Developer. The player interface can be customized in many ways, including changing the logo, changing the search preferences and help icons. Additionally, you can change style sheet elements such as dividers, background, or text colors. The player can be customized from two different locations. It can be modified from either the publishing output or the play publishing project in the developer library. This tutorial will demonstrate how to customize the graphic interface by changing the player's mode buttons through the published output folder. Changing the published output folder only affects this particular content. However, changing the settings in the system folder in the developable library will affect all future publishing topics. Starting off this tutorial, I wanted to show what can be done with only a few modifications to the play package folder. As you can see, I decided to change the interface with the overall corporate concept the IT Convergence has. In some instances, I think it might be valuable to know how to customize the play like this because it can add that extra element which clients truly appreciate. However, what we are going to change is only the color of the mode buttons. By hovering over the five different buttons, you can see that they are turning white. And this white color is what we will be trying to modify. The very first step is to publish an appropriate topic from the developer and navigate to the player publishing content folder. This folder may be found at different locations on your hard drive. However, I have conveniently published my topic to a tutorial folder on my desktop. Next, double click on the player package folder to view more alternatives. In the player package folder, there is a folder named CSS, where all the default player element files are. Open the folder and navigate to a file named skin.css. I will only change the color code of the mode buttons. Therefore, locate the nav cell on element and its color code. Keep in mind that this file might not include the same color codes as your own, because it has already been customized. As I said before, in this example I want to change the color from white to red. To do so, start by erasing the current color code and insert the appropriate one. In order to match the rest of my play screen, I'll be using a red color which code consists of FE and four zeros. If you have never worked with color codes before, don't worry because there are many available websites that generates the codes for you. After the color has been changed, you have to save the modifications before closing the skin file. On the edit menu, choose save to save the new color for the mode button. Next, close the skin file and navigate back to the player package folder. If you want to view the new color in your player package folder, scroll down using your mouse or the scroll bar until you locate the play application. Double click the play application to launch the player in the desired web browser. Now the play window is displayed and to view the change color hover the mouse over the mode buttons. As illustrated the mode buttons are now turning red when the mouse is over them instead of the previous color that was set for white. This concludes our tutorial on how to customize the play interface by changing the play mode buttons in Oracle UPK Developer. On the behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to join IT Convergence YouTube channel where you can learn more about UPK and its features and functions.